everybody, and uh, I'm really pleased to see the turnout today. Everybody coming out to support a very worthwhile cause. My name is Bill Pagusis. I'm a uh, six-year resident of Brampton, and I chose Brampton to live in because it was a good place to raise a family. I chose Brampton as a place to live six years ago because I felt it was a good place to raise a family. In my family, we like to teach our kids values. We like to teach them respect and honesty. However, I can tell you over the last six years, my impression of respect and honesty and the truth coming out of this building behind you is anything but impressive. Yeah. As you can see, these aren't, these aren't villains, they're not punks, they're not people that went out looking for trouble. These are just average Brantonians whose rights have been violated. Their homes have been trespassed and passed upon by city workers without a partner. Uh, party. And he said, let me see the document. He said, I don't know if that's my partner's signature or not. The document said, administrative assistant takes us, it doesn't look like it's right. So he said, do you have a picture of the dog? And I did have a picture of Brittany. Showed it to him, he said, that's not a pit bull. That's not a pit bull. This is coming from the clinic that the city is relying on to be their start of weird investigation, send these employees home for a little holiday. Oh, you get it right. <laughs> so this is called to the office of the mayor. That's the soft word in the air. This is the point of one phone call to the Ontario College of Veterinary. Say, so send me out a reliable vet. I need to make a trip. All you have to do is just go over to this animal clinic and say, take a look at these two dogs. Are they pit bulls? No, they're not, ma'am. Great. Please release these dogs from their families. i got to go do some things. How many of you out there are dog owners that have mixed breed dogs? There's a lot of you out there. How many of you can actually prove the parentage of those animals? Not too many of us. Not too many of us. These are the dogs that are at risk. Not your, not your purebreds right now, but your mixed dogs, and there's a lot of them out there. I have purebred up cheese next. I have cheese next. That's right. Where's the stop? Where's it at? So let's make the noise while we're here. Let's make this a great deal. How do you feel? Sweetie? Can you come and say hello? Yeah. Are you good? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I made so quick I didn't even get a chance to sit down. Yeah. What a good girl. Are you good? Of course you are. Is the law wrong? Absolutely. This doesn't, it, this is not necessary with good job. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I if I can legally allow her a dog to make us have our kids, yeah. she, I, I, I grew, this dog grew up for them. Thank you. Oh, that's priceless. Thank you. Thank you. And I just make sure I get a good... I'm getting to uh, rebellious to becoming right starting. Good dogs have to die. City of Brampton, hear our cry. Why do good dogs have to die? I think we're going to do a walk actually soon. Can I see your well, son? Since, uh, I don't know why we don't do that. Yeah, sure. 
Can I see your side? Sure. Okay. Oh, you made it on yeah. your <laughs> car. <laughs> you guys don't look like criminals. I know. I know. We like criminals, though. Because it wasn't now we're white trash. Yeah, yeah we're white trash. And we're criminals.